This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone in the house again man Shout out to you all Alright my viewers and subscribers So earlier today I promised you guys that I'm going to give you An interview that Jermaine Blackwood did Right, and in this interview, he was letting the people know that here what the West Indies test team is under no pressure at all, and they are going out there, however, to perform and to give the fans something to cheer about. Now, this article I am taking it from the Jamaica Observer, yeah, man, from the Jamaica Observer, and it is entitled Blackwood Says Test Squad Not Under Pressure but will give fans something to cheer about. So we're going to take a look at exactly what is being said in this, um, in this article, my viewers and subscribers, and I'll also give you my opinion in between. So let us get straight to it. Oh, before we go down into that, my viewers, please, if you, are, if you are actually joining us for the first time, please go right ahead and subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notification bell, so that you can be updated once a video has been released all right also make sure that you leave a like and drop a comment all right so the article starts off sri lanka west indies test team is ready to take on sri lanka in the next um couple of days with the aim of giving fans good cricket and a historic win at goal vice captain german blackwood has assured so yeah man german blackwood coming out on the front foot and letting us know that here what you don't need to worry yourself, my wonderful peeps. You are going to be getting good cricket. Now, the Caribbean men, men will begin the two-test series on November 21 on the heels of the T20 squad um, getting eliminated from the semi-final race in the World Cup in Abu Dhabi just a couple of weeks ago. Now, Blackwood said um, the T20 team's performance has not put any additional pressure on the test squad when they play at Gaul International Stadium. My viewers and subscribers, Blackwood can't say anything in about as fans. I am certain that, you know, we look at it as one West Indies. So if we had a disappointing outing in the T20 World Cup, we are looking for the test team to come and redeem themselves. Well, can I even say redeem because most of them weren't apart, but we are looking for the test team to come out and represent well and represent the brand West Indies. You know, the same players might have not been at the T20 World Cup, but it is the same brand, West Indies. Now, Blackwood is quoted as saying, This group that is here now, I can say, whenever we play for West Indies, um, we pride ourselves and we absolutely love to play for West Indies. And we have no added pressure at all. The guys are very relaxed. The guys are comfortable. We are just eager to go out there on the 21st and play some good cricket so the fans can have something to cheer about in the Caribbean, he said at a CWI press conference. So yes, my viewers and subscribers, this is not my words. You know, These are the words of the Vice Captain Jermaine Blackwood, who will be tasked with making runs himself. So uh, I guess, I guess he, he, he knows something that we don't, you know. And if everybody is relaxed and everybody is feeling good, then that is that is even more more of a reason for them to go out there and perform well. If they were tense and 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 you know trouble in the camp, then you could understand if they don't perform. But the vice captain is saying that everything is good, everybody is relaxed, everybody is ready to go. So let us see, let us see. Now acknowledging that West Indies, um, the article continuing, guys. Acknowledging that West Indies have never won a series in Sri Lanka, Blackwood said the Craig Brathwaite led team would be seeking to turn that around. Oh, you mean, man? All the other teams that would have gone there, they weren't able to do it. Oh, you mean? Go out there, go turn it around, yes? No, he's quoted as saying, This is a very great squad. <laughs> My thing is that the word great gets thrown around a whole lot these days. We have some very good players in the team and everyone knows that we, ha we haven't won a series for a lot of years now. 
and we are going to take it upon ourselves to make sure we can change that and actually win some games here and actually turn that curve for West Indies cricket in terms of winning games in Sri Lanka, he said. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, one thing I know about our players, you know, we talk up a storm and they talk about the players as if we don't know them. You know, they're talking about some great players in the squad as if we, we don't know these players. Anyway, the article continues and said the deputy skipper said he anticipates that spin would play a big part in both the West Indies and Sri Lanka bowling attacks and the Caribbean men are prepared for it. What oh, you mean? Since reaching Sri Lanka, the West Indies have been training and trying to adapt to the surface as quickly as possible, he added. Now, despite not being able to play for the first few days because of rain, he said the squad was was in a very good place and ready to play. And he's quoted once again as saying, We came here to win and that is our goal. The guys are hungry and you can see the hunger in all of the guys' eyes. We are ready to play cricket. It doesn't matter what surface we get. We are ready to play good cricket, he said. Alright, Mr. Blackwood. Now, as for his own game, the right-handed batsman said he would focus he, he would focus and ready. He was focused and ready for the task ahead. Now he's quoted as saying, batting wise, I think I'm ready. I'm batting very good and I'm very focused right now. So it's just a time, it's just in time to go out there and play cricket and execute my plans. I'm fully focused. For these two test matches, he said, the second test will bowl off um, on, on November the 29th. So, yes, my viewers and subscribers, um, our vice captain, uh, our vice captain, Jermaine Blackwood, he's talking up a storm. He's letting the people know that, hear what, he's ready to go. He's um, throttling at 100% and the team will definitely be putting on a show out there. No, I am happy to hear of these, you know, but I am wondering, you know, when they say that they have a great squad, if they are talking about the same set of players that you know and I know that are actually over there in Sri Lanka. But, you know, as they say, we're going to give them time, you know, we have to give them time and see exactly how, how, how it will work out for them. Because at the end of the day, you know, it's our team and we need to support them. I mean, they have a group of players over there. Uh, in a video tomorrow morning, I will select my 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 eleven, my eleven that I I will use to go out there and um you know represent us because we want to get the series off to a good start and it's gonna be important to get a good uh combination of batsmen, uh bowl um pace bowlers and um spinners so. Whichever way they do it, my viewers and subscribers, I just want to know that the team is actually, um, you know, winning. As I said, we haven't won anything in Sri Lanka now for a little while. So um, we definitely want to go over there and dominate and see where we take it from there. Uh, we have a couple of players coming back into the team that will be expected to get some runs. She Hope is in the squad, so if he plays, he will be looking to score some runs. Um, Nkuma Banner, the same thing. Um, you know, since of late he hasn't really scored, so he will be looking to score some runs. And um, Joshua the Silver and Jason Holder, those are two also that will definitely need to get some runs for the team. But yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, things are actually looking up, so we are going to give them a chance and see exactly what they can do. So we're gonna close it off right here. So sports to the bone, keeping you informed. Please remember to like, share. Leave us a comment. If you have not yet subscribed, please go right ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm out.